So, so I uh, got this message. It sounded metally. By Paul. It says, hey guys, so I just saw your reaction to Pentatonix. I know it's both of you and Sporto ain't familiar with beatboxing. Maybe you could react to some beatbox battle. Hey, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Both of us and me? I don't think he was talking about B up there. Oh, um, uh, should be fun to see. And so they have beatbox battles. Sounds, I never really, I mean, I know of beatboxing. Right. I guess I never really just sat down and listened to a battle. I didn't know there was a beatbox battle. You've tried to beatbox before, and the, remember in that one video, and somebody was like, just stop. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty bad. Yeah. Man, I'm going to slap myself with my own headphones here. Ten minutes, huh? Oh. Boy, you sure didn't give me a warning for that, so I couldn't at least stand up and stretch before takes. Thanks. Hey, no problem, man. Glad I got you. Massacre versus Dilo, the finals, 2019 Grand B-Box Battle, live here in Bowling Crowd. Are you ready? Yeah. You can do better than that. Get that energy. Come on, come on, come on. That guy looks pissed. It's going to be on Dilo first. As soon as he's done that water. Drink water. I say the three. Y'all say the two and the one. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, all right. Three. Jesus Christ. I'll have a fucking drink of water. God. Don't try, don't try, don't try. That's the only time I give you advice. Don't try, only time I give you advice. Don't try, only the devil replies. Don't try, only the devil replies. What the fuck, man? Who want to know that you need it sometime? You did not tell me that I'm on your mind. You did not tell me there's no time to cry. You did not tell me you need time to cry. Here's a time to, here's a time to cry. Here's a time to, here's a time to cry. Here's a time, here's a time, here's a time, here's a time. Ow, 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 ow. Need some time to. <laughs> Whoa. You stop it with 11 seconds left? You're a jackass. 11. Oh, shit. I wasn't even watching the timer. <laughs> oh, man. Damn it. Everybody's going to be pissed. I'm watching the other guy, and he's like... He's like, Psh, Fuck. Please. Either he's like... Yeah, yeah. You see Conor he's McGregor like, in, the, in the, the judging table? Yeah. <laughs> Can I we mean, finish the 11 seconds? I'm just fucking blown away that he... The dude is making sounds like that. That's <laughs> what they're trying to tell us in Pentatonics. Like, all those sounds. You remember that guy from, uh, what was that movie, uh, Police Academy? Yeah, that's uh, Winslow. Winslow. Winslow guy, isn't it? No, you're thinking of Winston Zedmore. No. Carl Winslow? No, yeah. he's from Family Matters, man. The guy, yeah, the, he I'm could make all the noises. Name. Oh, I don't know his real name. I think it's, I thought it was Winslow. Maybe I'm wrong. Hey, can we... F All right. That's because you look like Little Pump. <laughs> Good time. Damn. Hey, maybe I look like Little Pump, but I look better than you. The sun is down, freezing cold. That's how we already know. When it's here, my car will probably do him for a quick bell. That's just how you know we don't know nothing else. I'm trying to show I'm trying to show Do I know you're with a pick and roll? Do you think I'm saying he's sick and bow, 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 bow? They said I used to party to the dance. Ooh. 
We weren't supposed to have an ad. Watch this. Uh -oh. I I'll take care of this. I got this. You say something smart, and I'm going to finish this up here real quick. I'm going to take care of this. Who won the battle? Well, you better check the time. Check the I know time. where we're at. I know where we're at. Don't okay. worry. We were not prepared. Were you not prepared? Ooh, he comes firing right back oh, at him. Oh, shit. Okay. So... Uh, How many different rounds are they going to have back and forth? We'll have to, here, just back that up real quick. Unreal. Unreal. See, I, when I always thought of beatboxing, I'm like, okay. So you can make some beatboxing sounds. I didn't know it got this in depth. We didn't obviously hear the, the, the grand masters of the beatbox. We always maybe just pictured the guys in the street corners goofing around, you know. Like fish beats. You know, stupid hey, shit like you're that. You're pretty good, man. You should <laughs> battle. <laughs> yeah. Want to have a battle? <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh my god. Right. Everything. I like. How are they? They're like they're. Yeah, slapping, uh, slapping that shit. Un, un, fucking real. So who did you like better so far? I don't know. It's tough. I mean, they both covered like different sorts of things. I'm thinking. Um, what uh, I don't know which one is which now. D Lo is the guy with you first know, his guy. hair. No, yeah. D Lo is the first guy. Yeah. So Tomas uh, Cray is the guy with the yellow shirt. It's tough Orange. to say because I think he kind of went off the hook with that. Like he was hitting all the lower tones and like the faster like scribble stuff. But I can't. I can't choose yet. I can't choose yet. Yeah. Man. Ready? Yeah. From darkness, you don't know my virtue. Spat your soul, the warning. You know spirits untold. Spat your soul from darkness. You don't know my virtue. That guy. <laughs> <laughs> ah, like, it kind of looked like you in the crowd. Yeah, I don't know if he's passing a kidney stone or if he's really just that <laughs> taken with what he hears, but holy shit, I'm kind of blown away by this. He's a, he's, that guy's fucking, he's like pissed. Look at him. That's a, that's a, that's one of the judges. Yeah, he's like, fuck this. Fuck no. And then all of a sudden they came out with this <laughs> thing going on. D Lo? D Lo is that was like a mini song right there. The guy can sing too, actually. Yeah. It didn't look like anybody was impressed until he started throwing in those those high highs in there. I was impressed with the fact that he was singing, and I'm like, okay, where's he gonna go with this? He's gonna have to explode into it. He's gonna have to bust out something. And sure enough, there was like the breakdown. I found it interesting when he was doing his he had that sound going on. Like a pencil. <laughs> Sound from the 
Okay, so that last like 11 seconds there, he had a quick fill in and with something. So overall, so far, music per pound. I think you got a little bit more out of d Low. Uh, he's showing off a wider range. I think he shocked everybody a little bit more. However, uh, Tomas Akre. He's got the really deep. He's got the deep stuff, man. And he's got that scribble. It, it's very like sharp, you know, that I... I it's still tough to call, but it's going to get crazy here in a little bit because I'm, you're going to come to the grand finale. I'm kind of favoring D-Low right now just because he went unexpected. He went the unexpected route and was singing. So he was showing off range, versatility there, and transferring back and forth as opposed to just straight, you know, beatboxing. So he had like a little melody going on there, making it his own. All right. Once again, make some noise. The final solo. We have Thomas Akre versus D-Lo. That was the finals. Show him some love, Poland. Come on. Whoa, that looks just like him. Hey, that Whoa. guy looked like FPS Russia in the crowd. Who? FPS Russia. This guy, that's a terrible looking hat. Sorry. Watch this. It's a Bugs Bunny shirt. That guy right there looks like FPS Russia. I don't know who that is. Hello, my friends. It is FPS Russia again. The shooting guy. The never mind. Okay. <laughs> they gonna go again? The of the solo, 2019 Grand Beatbox Battle is Look this guy. Give it up for. Man, that really had to have been a tough call. Honestly, it had to be a tough call because, like I said, I would have, I was torn. I've totally been saying his name wrong. <laughs> All right. Totally said his name wrong. Oh, he's going to go again. Oh. 
I think we need a speech. Yo, Wait, uh, real quick before he gives his speech, mm -hmm. I completely forgot what I was about to say before he gives his speech. Okay. Don't you start now. You like you're glitching out. I may have to <laughs> pop you in the recess. So is he gonna is he, is he gonna like do some more beatboxing? Maybe he'll give like his farewell song. It'll be a love song. It'll send everybody off. This is fun though. Yeah. Well, oh, I wish I would remember what I fucking said. Just that quick, gone. It ain't no big deal. It ain't no big deal. That's an absolute big up for Thomas Acker, man. That was the craziest stuff. I want to say, uh, since, the la since GBB last year coming second, I spent a whole long year of hard training, 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 switching up my style, trying to bring you guys some new stuff. So I'm going to keep doing that. I'm never going to stop. Keep bringing it, keep bringing it, keep bringing it, keep bringing it, keep bringing it. Big up to yourselves. Make some noise for yourselves. Big event. I am so, so happy. To massacre. Thank you so much for the opportunity. It's so hard for me because I traveled from South America, really far away from here. Thank you. So fly. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. I just want to say a huge shout out for my mom for believing in me and also. <laughs> All right. We're not beatboxing again. No, I don't think so. So, so, but yeah, well, I still kind of wanted to hear what the guy was going to say. Okay, okay, we'll give him a chance. See, he's done. Who's that guy? It's like Dave Matthews. It <laughs> kind of does. Except with, like, it is. Anyway, um, I'll tell you what else I thought was interesting. It's fucking warm down here. What I thought was cool was when they were both like going. Uh, well, D'Lo especially was watching the other guy, and it almost looked like in his head he was trying to work out how he was making those sounds. Like, you know, you could kind of see his mouth moving a little bit, almost like he was he was really following along like mm -hmm. closely. I thought that was interesting. They're they're giving each other respect, is what I think that is. You know. They're not underestimating each other. They're, you know, staying on top of, you know, uh, what they think is going to come next and where the guy is coming from. It's like he was trying to get inside and say, okay, this is this is what I'm up against. He was, like, really trying to analyze his opponent. I thought mm -hmm. that was interesting. It's kind of like it's kind of like a rap battle. So, I mean, this, I mean, freestyle rapping off the top of your head, too, is obviously pretty crazy tough. But, I mean, this takes a hell of a lot of practice i'm sure yep i would definitely say you know if he was training i wonder how long you know you said he was training for how long like a while like a year you know eight months a year something like that i don't think that's necessarily something you could freestyle you'd have to have a definite um pattern set up for that yeah you, have you to couldn't learn how just to do each little thing individually because it, i think it would be hard to transfer from one sound to the other like there might be some that would be almost impossible to follow up a certain type of sound after the other. Like, think of it this I know what way, you that, mean. I know what yeah, you mean. Yeah, you know. Like it's, a lot of, probably, it's probably a lot of work, like, shit going on in your mouth with the tongue. And then, I'm just going to say it, but you saw the faces that they were making. It's not to say that they're making stupid faces on purpose, but you have to do that to, you know, get the right thing. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you know. Very cool. Um, thank you for the recommendation. That was fun. That something was, different. Something that different. was cool. Um, so, let me know what you thought of that. Uh, I mean, we can do more. That's fun. I like to hear different types of different guys, you know, and what they different sounds they can make. It's pretty cool. So now we got that was recommended because of uh, pentatonics. Mm -hmm. Now think of it this way: that was one guy. Pentatonics is there are five of them. Right. No wonder why you get that depth of sound, and that all you know mixed together. Imagine the practice that they have to do to get that. What if all of a sudden you get a sore throat that day? You have laryngitis or you're congested or something? Lots of water. Lots of water. Lots of like Tabasco on the on the tongue and lots of hot sauce, I think. Thank you very much. Thank you for checking out our channel. Hopefully you like it. And if you like it, you know, 
check out our other stuff. Uh, and if you like that, subscribe. You know, and tell us where there's gonna be some like beatbox battles going on. Hell, I'd drive and go check that out. It'd be fun. Be like, yep, we're here. Let's come to steal the show. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you guys later.